Laundry. It never ends. Laundry is literally the song that never ends. How can we keep up on it? How can we survive the piles of clothes that are slowly burying our bathroom floors alive? Well, many people have said that the only way to keep up on it is to do one load of laundry every day. Fly Lady said it, Clean Mama said it, Organized Mom said it, My Mother said it, My Friend said it, This Random Person on Reddit said it, My Baby Pooped Out 20 Onesies basically saying it, Why does everyone keep telling me to do my laundry every day? If one more person says it to me, I might knock them out. Hey, so what's for dinner? But is there merit to why people keep repeating this to us? I mean, do you really have to do laundry every day to keep up on it? It seems absurd. Don't you have a job or kids or a million other chores to do? Dinner to cook? But something I think we can all agree on is that laundry has to be done in some form or another. If we don't do it, then our homes are covered in these overwhelming piles and then we start running out of clothes, barely washing them in time and living out of baskets. That is no way to live. It's not enjoyable or practical. So what do we do? Wash our clothes every day? Is this really the only way? Well, let's think about what I've done for the last 14 years of doing my own laundry. I've washed my clothes when I noticed my drawers were getting low. Whoops, you don't have any socks? Well, guess it's time to start a load. This averaged to about one load a week and this worked pretty good. Well, until I had kids. Then the madness began, and suddenly my successful plan of washing one load of laundry a week faltered as pee and poop and spit up and other bodily fluids took over my life. And then things really got out of control. Piles in the bathroom, piles in the hallway, piles on my husband, never ending piles on my love seat. I mean, why even buy love seats? Why not just buy couch sized laundry baskets? I haven't sat on that thing in years. So what did I do? I mean, I had to do something. I couldn't live like this. It was stressful and it made me feel like I was drowning. And that's when I found the fly lady and her cleaning routine. This was the first time I had ever been introduced to the idea of following a routine to keep your house in check. And after I studied her weekly and daily checklists, there it was right on her morning routine, one load of laundry every day. So I tried it and I failed. I just could not seem to remember. I would forget constantly. And even if I did remember to start the laundry, I'd still forget to switch it to the dryer and have to continually rewash it. Remembering seemed to be a real problem for me and I gave up quickly going back to my old unsuccessful ways. So a bit later, I found Clean Mama and her cleaning routine. And surprise, surprise, her cleaning system also said to do one load of laundry a day. So I decided, what the heck, let me try this again. But this time I set alarms so that I wouldn't forget to start or switch my laundry. And it worked for the first week, but I quickly fell behind on it. With the alarms, I'd remember to start it, but since I was doing laundry every day, well, then there was a giant pile of clothes to be folded on my couch at all times. Because I don't have time to fold laundry every day, my couch became unusable, and I went back to my old ways again. Why can't I keep up on this? I need to find another way. Someone who can tell me how to gain control over my laundry. Surely the next cleaning routine I would find would tell me to do something different than one freaking load of laundry a day. And I found the organized mom and her cleaning method. And guess what was on her four daily tasks? Just, just guess, it might surprise you. Nope, just kidding, it won't. Again, one load of laundry a day. What the heck? Even in England, they're telling me to wash my clothes every day. So there you go. I must be the problem if every cleaning expert I've ever researched has told me that this is the way, then this must be the only way. And I am the problem. I'm doing something wrong. I must be. <sighs> you know what they say, four times a charm. So 
I just need to try one more time. Failure, 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 failure. I can't. I can't do it this way. Can you? I'm so tired of having laundry on my couch at all times. I miss having five places to sit in my living room. Now, I only have three. I mean, Clean Mama says that doing a load of laundry every day can change your life, but whether I don't do laundry each day or I do, there are still piles everywhere. Just clean piles instead of dirty. So how do I stay disciplined to fold every single day? I could tie it in with my downtime while I watch TV after the kids go to bed, but my days are so crazy that I only really get that downtime 50% of the time, leaving laundry to be unfolded 50% of the week. So that's not gonna work. And yes, I know I'm gonna see the comment that says you should have your kids fold their own laundry, but what if you have babies and toddlers? That's unfair to the rest of us mothers who don't have kids that are old enough to do so. What about us? And we're more tired at this stage than any other stage in life. We need something that's doable for us. I've heard it said that you could just have one communal laundry basket in the hallway that everyone uses and then once it's full, go ahead and wash it. And it's a nice idea, but then I might be tempted to just start throwing my laundry onto the floor, starting the madness all over again. And who's to say I'm gonna be disciplined enough to take care of it anyway? I mean, I may be tempted to just ignore it when I've got a pile of dishes in the sink and a floor that needs to be swept or else my crawling baby will start eating foreign objects. And I have a feeling that the laundry basket will get overflowed and the clothes will just end up on the floor anyway. Why is something that seems so simple, so not simple? Just wash your laundry every day, get into the habit, tie something to it, set an alarm, don't forget, my goodness. Well, I know I'm not the only one who struggles with this because I surveyed you guys and only 27% of you said that you do laundry every day. So that leaves 73% who have either found a better way or are just surviving the piles week to week and living in constant stress. And then of course there's minimal mom's way of not folding your laundry at all and just throwing it into drawers, which is a nice thought to never have to fold again. But I just can't seem to get on board with that. It makes me tick and I end up taking everything back out and folding it. If that works for you, then wonderful. I envy you. I want to do that too, but for some reason I just can't. At this point, I had just given up. I can't wash my laundry every day. I just can't. I don't have the memory for it or the discipline or the money it's costing me in detergent having to restart the washer over and over and over. And what I had been doing, which was washing my laundry every two to three days, well, that wasn't working either. Because still it left me with piles everywhere and that feeling of never catching up. I've given up. There's no hope. I'm gonna die in my piles of clothes. They're gonna grow so high that I'm gonna be eaten by a pack of wolves. Shirts made out of wool. And then moths, because moths eat wool. So so the moth will eat the, the wool, will eat the moth. The, they'll eat me and moth me wool. Ugh. Oh no, oh no, is this how it ends for me? Dana K. White. What was that? Dana K. White. Who's that? Have you tried Dana K. White, White? Why, why, why? why do I keep hearing that name? Could she be my laundry and angel? Yes, she was my laundry and angel. My laundry pod mother, my cleany queenie. Oh, okay, this is getting a little weird, but when I discovered Dana K. White, I found the answer to my question, which is no. Laundry does not have to be done every day. No, not ever, don't do it, it's awful, no. But then how do you keep up? We still have to find another way. Dana K. White, she is our answer. She has solved my laundry problem. I didn't think the day would ever come where I felt in control of laundry, but it has, thanks to Dana. So how does she do it? 
Well, she dedicates one day a week as an official laundry day. So every Tuesday, she begins early in the morning and starts her first load of laundry around 6 a.m. If you work on Tuesdays, no biggie. Then you can do this on Saturdays or whatever day works for you. So for the entire day on Tuesday, she makes laundry the focus switching out loads and starting new loads all day long until every last bit of laundry is clean. And then this is your excuse to binge watch your favorite show because you're gonna fold all of your laundry on your dedicated laundry day. By committing a regular day to doing it, you can have the freedom to just relax and not have to worry about it the other six days of the week, which is an amazing feeling. The trick to success in this is getting up early enough to start it and setting continual Google or Alexa reminders throughout the day so that you don't forget. Ever since I've set a devoted laundry day, my laundry is finally not behind. I haven't had clothes sitting on my couch in months since I started doing it. My husband no longer runs out of socks or has to dig through baskets to find a shirt. It seems silly that I needed someone to tell me I could do my laundry all in one day, but I guess I did. And I'm so glad for it. I always thought washing laundry once a week wasn't enough, but no one ever told me that I could wash five loads of laundry in one day. And there's something about scheduling an official laundry day each week that makes me more motivated to get through all the loads before the end of the day. And I've been able to keep up ever since. I will mention though, if you have a septic system, you may have to split this into two days or else you can overload your septic tank. But otherwise, try it out. Dedicate a day to laundry and wash like five to seven loads all in one day. Binge Gilmore Girls. Make it an enjoyable experience and see how it changes your life like it did mine. Do you want to know more about my laundry and angel, Dana? Then check out this video where I reviewed her cleaning system. She's not just an expert on laundry. You should see what she has to say about dishes. I'll see you there.